I'm an actor. I'm an actor first and for foremost. Uh, I'm also a filmmaker, obviously. I really got into the filmmaking side of the world by working through this project, Metal Gear. You know, I, I got into uh, editing, producing, and directing, and it just seemed like it was a natural step for me as an actor to get more involved in everything that comes with filmmaking. Metal Gear is based on the greatest video game series ever made by Hideo Kojima. I wanted to create a tribute to him and his pro uh, to his video game series, which I love so much. And it just felt like something that I always wanted to do without realizing it, um, to be able to play a uh, solid snake, to give a proper fan film tribute to the project because you know, we all know that Hollywood has no idea how to make a video game movie, and I wanted to show that it could be done. A Stranger Among Us. I, I was cast in the lead role, and I saw the first draft, and it was god-awful terrible. I approached the producer, and I said, listen, I've done some editing. Let me edit the project. And that's actually how I got started in editing. And that's that, that kind of opened the doors for me to get in, more into the filmmaking. End. I'm uh, cast in a, an off-Broadway project that's coming up uh, where I'll be playing a Vietnam veteran. What I'm really proud of is uh, we've been working very hard on the Brandon project. The, the screenplay is Brandon. It's based on Brandon Lee, the late great Brandon Lee. And basically I've been working, I guess, for the past eight months trying to create this screenplay that basically is a tribute to pay honor to someone that really deserves it and has not got it. I've been training for, I guess, the past two months, two to three times a week with uh, Mike Muyero, who's been getting me ready for the physically demanding aspects of the role, which has been uh, quite an experience. But writing the project, getting physically ready for the project, and now we're just uh, starting to get the rest of pre-production going. I feel like I have a ton in common with the guy. I was writing a biogra I was writing an autobiographical uh, screenplay about an actor who uh, felt like he couldn't get the roles he wanted because I either wasn't Asian enough or I wasn't white enough being biracial. And uh, the more I learned about Brandon, I didn't realize that was really the struggle he went through as well. And I uh, basically took this autobiography and merged it with uh, the Brandon project that I had simultaneously been working on. My mom's Korean, um, so I'm half Asian, I'm biracial, and... Well, yeah, I'm Asian, you know, not everyone maybe realizes that. Um, and uh, I'd really like to mention that I, I really appreciate Asians on film for recognizing us with the best short film, best short action film award of uh, winter 2012, because it was, I felt like it was the first time that I was really recognized for being Asian and for what I can contribute to the Asian community. It was a really wonderful, honorable moment because you know, growing up, I I gotta say growing up, maybe because, you know, you're dealing with bullies when you're younger, but I never really felt acknowledgement from the Asian community, ever, in my life. I never felt acknowledged for being Asian. So again, you know, uh, kudos to Asians on film. It's really, it's really an honor to, to be not just recognized as Korean, but uh, for what I can contribute to the Asian community. Come up, Sunita.